Yovalim Jubilees 30. And in the first year of the sixth week, he went up to Shalem, to the east of Shechem, in peace, in the fourth month. And there they carried off Dinah, the daughter of Yaakov, into the house of Shechem, the son of Chamor, the Chivi, the prince of the land. And he lay with her and defiled her. And she was a little girl, a child of twelve years. And he besought his father and her brothers that she might be given to him to be his woman. And Yaakov and his sons were wroth because of the men of Shechem, for they had defiled Dinah, their sister. And they spoke to them with evil intent and dealt deceitfully with them and beguiled them. And Shimon and Levi came unexpectedly to Shechem and executed judgment on all the men of Shechem and slew all the men whom they found in it and left not a single one remaining in it. They slew all in torments because they had dishonored their sister, Dinah. And thus let it not again be done from henceforth that a daughter of Yashadael be defiled, for judgment is ordained in heaven against them, that they should destroy with the sword all the men of the Shikmim, because they had wrought shame in Yashadael. And Yahuwah delivered them into the hands of the sons of Yaakov, that they might exterminate them with the sword and execute judgment upon them. And that it might not thus again be done in Yashadel, that a virgin of Yashadel should be defiled. And if there is any man who wishes in Yashadel to give his daughter or his sister to any man who is of the seed of the other nations, he shall surely die. They shall stone him with stones, for he has wrought shame in Yashadel. And they shall burn the woman with fire, because she has dishonored the name of the house of her father, and she shall be rooted out of Yashadael. And let not a woman that breaks wedlock and no uncleanness, rather uncleanness, be found in Yashadael throughout all the days of the generations of the earth. For Yashadael is holy unto Yahuwah, and every man who has defiled it shall surely die. They shall stone him with stones, for thus has it been ordained and written in the heavenly tablets regarding all the seed of Yashadael. He who defiles it shall surely die, and he shall be stoned with stones. And to this Torah there is no limit of days, and no remission, nor any atonement. But the man who has defiled his daughter shall be rooted out in the midst of all Yashadael, because he has given of his seed to Molech, and wrought impiously so as to defile it. And do you, Moshe, command the children of Yashadael, and exhort them not to give their daughters to the other nations, and not to take for their sons any of the daughters of the other nations. For this is abominable before Yahuwah. For this reason I have written for you in the words of the Torah, all the deeds of the Shikmim, which they wrought against Dinah, and how the sons of Yaakov spoke, saying, We will not give our daughter to a man who is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach unto us. And it is a reproach to Yashadael, to those who live, and to those that take the daughters of the other nations, for this is unclean and abominable to Yashadael. And Yashadael will not be free from this uncleanness if it has a woman of the daughters of the other nations, or has given any of its daughters to a man who is of any of the other nations. 
For there will be plague upon plague, and curse upon curse, and every judgment and plague and curse will come if he do this thing, or hide his eyes from those who commit uncleanness, or those who defile the sanctuary of Yahuwah, or those who profane his holy name. Then will the whole nation together be judged for all the uncleanness and profanation of this man. And there will be no respect of persons and no consideration of persons and no receiving at his hand of fruits and offerings and burnt offerings and fat, nor the fragrance of sweet savor so as to accept it. And so fare every man or woman in Yashara'el who defiles the sanctuary. For this reason I have commanded you, saying, Testify this testimony to Yashara'el. See how the Shikmim fared and their sons, how they were delivered into the hands of two sons of Yaakov, and they slew them under tortures. And it was reckoned unto them for righteousness, and it is written down to them for righteousness. And the seed of Levi was chosen for the priesthood, and to be Leviim, that they might minister before Yahuwah, as we continually, and that Levi and his sons may be blessed forever. For he was zealous to execute righteousness and judgment and vengeance on all those who arose against Yashara'el. And so they inscribe as a testimony in his favor on the heavenly tablets, blessing and righteousness before the Elohim of all. And we remember the righteousness which the man fulfilled during his life at all periods of the year until a thousand generations they will record it, and it will come to him and to his descendants after him. And he has been recorded on the heavenly tablets as a friend and a righteous man. All this account I have written for you and have commanded you to say to the children of Yashara'el that they should not commit sin, nor transgress the ordinances nor break the covenant which has been ordained for them, but that they should fulfill it and be recorded as friends. But if they transgress and work uncleanness in every way, they will be recorded on the heavenly tablets as adversaries, and they will be destroyed out of the sefer of life, and they will be recorded in, in the sefer of those who will be destroyed, and with those who will be rooted out of the earth. And on the day when the sons of Yaakov slew Shechem, a writing was recorded in their favor in heaven, that they had executed righteousness and uprightness and vengeance on the sinners, and it was written for a blessing. And they, they, and they brought Dinah, their sister, out of the house of Shechem. And they took captive everything that was in Shechem, their sheep and their oxen and their asses and all their wealth and all their flocks and brought them all to Yaakov, their father. And he reproached them because they had put the city to the sword, for he feared those who dwelt in the land, the Kenaanim, and the Perazim. And the dread of Yahuwah was upon all the cities which are round, rather, which are around about Shechem. And they did not rise to pursue, rather, to pursue after the sons of Yaakov, for terror had fallen upon them.